Okay, so we have a little bit of a story time today. And before I show you this ridiculous screenshot and all the other things that this man said to me, just a little bit of background is required so you understand. So we matched on a dating site. We went on a date. We absolutely hit it off. We spent six hours together. He made a reservation for a restaurant um, that he chose. We met there. We had dinner. Then we left. We walked around the little town we were in. Um, I ended up getting some ice cream, um, which I paid for, which is important. And um, then we went to another restaurant, just got a couple drinks because we still wanted to keep talking, but it was really cold out. After this date, he texted me saying that he wanted to see me before he left for this work trip on Wednesday. The date was on a Sunday. Um, so we tried to sort that out. It didn't end up working out. So instead, he told me, okay, cool. Since I come back on Saturday, I'll just reserve Sunday to see you. We'll do something. We'll figure out details once it gets a little closer. So basically, this man goes to LA on his work trip. He leaves on Wednesday, and he kind of completely disappears. He goes MIA, which I understood to an extent because he was on a work trip. But he wasn't really communicating with me at all. So as you can see, finally on Friday, I kind of just texted him. I was like, hey, look, like, I know you're busy with work, but, you know, we, did you still want to see each other on Sunday? This man, as you can clearly see, never answered that message. And that was kind of that. I never expected to hear from him again. However, on Christmas, even though the screenshot says today, I screenshotted this on Christmas, he reached out to me and said this. So just so you can read it a little bit better. So after he came back with that kind of like half-assed apology, half-assed reply, I basically was very polite about it. I was like, look, what do you expect from me? Are we just going to kind of forget that you disappeared and you couldn't even at least be honest that you didn't want to be, that you weren't able to see me last Sunday? Again, I thought my response was very polite and in line. I sent him a picture of my tree, like he wanted to exchange tree, like pictures, apparently, whatever. Um, so he comes back with this kind of excuse, um, and there's a lot of things wrong with this. So you can pause to read if you want, but first of all, he's accusing me of leaving to use the restroom when the check came, which is actually not true. Um, I left to use the restroom right before the check came, and I didn't know the check was coming. I can't read a waiter's mind. So um, I finished my food, I finished my drink, and that's when I went to use the restroom because I knew we were going to walk around after, and I didn't want to have to use the restroom while we were walking around the town. So as you can see here, he's accusing me of that. I'm kind of clearing it up in my message down here, just kind of saying like that wasn't the intention, and if that's how it came off to you or whatever, like... I'm sorry. Then we finally have these messages where he is continuing the lie and it makes me even more mad. So he's telling me that I picked the restaurant. I did not. I'm actually really not familiar with the town that we were in. He picked the restaurant and made the reservation. Um, of course, I ordered what I liked because what am I going to do? Order something I don't like. Um, and honestly, he's just, like absolutely ridiculous. First of all, he's talking about a trust fund. How do I know that you have a trust fund? I, I, I just literally just please read this. And the Okay, so some of y'all requested a part two, so here it is. Um, there's not really much more that happened, but I can give a little bit more detail. Um, so as you can see here up here, I have the message where he's telling me about the reservation that he made at the place that he chose. Again, if you remember the old messages, I'll show them again at the end. He accused, well not accused me, but he said that I picked the place. Um, I didn't. I literally have the proof of him saying he made a reservation at a place called Mistral's. The bar area is cool, but they don't take reservations. So he made a reservation for the enclosed patio. And also you can see he mentioned an ice cream place, which as I mentioned, I paid for the ice cream, which I don't mind. But my whole point is he was coming at me for not paying for anything. Meanwhile, I did, even though it's something he suggested, which is fine. But he was just wrong. So as you can see here, these are the text messages from right after the date um, at 11 p.m. when we got home. He was like, I'd love to make Tuesday work, but if it doesn't, I'm keeping my Sunday completely free to see you. Um, and then also down here, we tried to make Monday work. Um, we weren't able to make either of those work, so we ended up just agreeing on that following Sunday. Okay, so now we can dive into these text messages a little bit more now that I have the time. So um, he said he had an emergency trip, whatever. Either way, he waited eight days to reach out to me and he couldn't just let me know that he was unavailable to see me on that Sunday, which was what bothered me, that he just couldn't at least let me know. And then he's talking about me excusing myself um, when the check came. I actually excused myself after the meal was finished and after I finished my drink. I didn't know the check was coming that second. Um, the waiter had ended up bringing the check over while I was in the restroom, but it was not intentional. And again, you know, he's saying that he wanted to try again, but if you had these like red flags from me and you didn't like that I, you think that I intentionally got up and left you with the check, why would you want to try again? And also, why do you need to point out my commission that I told you about two weeks ago? It's just so weird. 
And then we'll quickly go over this last message again. So, okay, you picked the restaurant. Okay, no, I didn't. I literally just showed you guys the screenshot where he picked the restaurant and told me he made reservations. He said, ordered what I liked. Okay, I did not order the most expensive thing on the menu. I ordered a chicken dinner, which was probably out of the entrees, one of the least expensive. So again, not really sure if he wanted me to order something I didn't like or what the case was there. But again, just a, a not valid point. And he keeps harping on how, you know, I expect him to cover everything. Meanwhile, we got ice cream and I paid. He ended up not ordering any, which is fine. He didn't want any. But I told him like three times before I swiped my card, like, hey, are you sure you don't want anything? Like, we'll add it on before I check out. Like, are you sure you don't want ice cream? He was like, no, it's too cold. Like, I don't want any. So I did offer to pay. And then again, we circle back to like, I don't know that you have a trust fund. Like, I, I don't know that information about you. And clearly you're insecure about it. I, I And again, bringing up my commission again, like, what's the point? This man has some serious like red flag money issues, but... That's most of the details um, that I wasn't able to.